hello viewers good morning and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to do a very different project and i'm going to work a miniature a miniature embroidery hoop so what i have done here is i have taken a ring inner ring from an empty cello tape roll and i applied some uh, fevi bond here on the side and then i have stretched and stuck this cotton cloth on it and I'm going to work these uh, stitches after which I will also go and complete the uh, other ring the top ring of the hoop so let me first start so the stitches that I'm going to use are basic running stitch or kasuti stitch for this one and in a different color I will do these small leaf uh, things in yellow color so I'm going to start with the kasuti pattern if you want to learn how to do the kasuti it is already there on my channel you can go back and view the tutorial or i can also post the link in the description box with this video so i have taken three strands of this ink blue basic kasuti is very easy just do the running stitches in one direction first and then the gaps are filled again by the running stitches which you do in the other direction I have finished in one direction. I will bring the thread back where I started. And now these gaps that you can see here, I am going to fill them up with the running stitch again. This time working in the other direction. So that the gaps get filled up. I'm doing this miniature because I'm going to make a small miniature embroidery set for a dollhouse, miniature dollhouse. So after I do this embroidery, I'm also going to make small small skeins of embroidery floss or thread. And once I'm done with all that, I will post a picture. I will just show you here and I will also post the picture on my Facebook page. So I have a Naughty Threads Facebook page also. If you are interested in the projects that I do, you can go to Facebook and like my page. I share uh, photos of my projects there also sometimes even of old projects which I have done long back I only have few photos of my old projects but I share them on my page on Facebook and I also have an Instagram account for Naughty Threads so you can either follow me on Instagram or you can follow me on Facebook And of course you can subscribe to my channel, YouTube channel as well, because this is where I put up the videos. So now the center flower is complete, the central motif is complete, I am going to go and change the thread and come back and do the other petals around it. Now I am going to use the yellow colored thread for the petals and I am going to try and do the lazy daisy. Let me see if I have got enough work space available here. Yes, that's 
so a small lazy daisy stitch is what I'm going to do for all the leaves or petals not petals actually leaves stitches are very very simple but I hope you like the idea of this miniature embroidery hoop Some time back I had created a miniature dollhouse living room and it had several things that I had handcrafted that gave me an idea that I can also create a small miniature embroidery kit for the dollhouse. I'm just so fascinated by this miniature uh, thing. Let me see if I can make some more miniatures. If you get miniature embroidery hoops in the market, you can also make pendants and brooches out of it. But uh, I know they are available online, but uh, mostly from outside India. I'm not sure if they are available in India, even on the online stores. But if you can get miniature uh, embroidery hoops, you can create brooches and small uh, embroidered pendants of your choice and there you can use many different stitches simple ones like sometime back i had put small small single uh, motif kind of stitches the star stitch or the woven star and stuff like that so those can be used to make a small pendant and i'm sure it will look good so let me take it offline so that the video is not too long. I will finish all these leaves and come back and show you how it looks. And then I will also show you how to make the top ring for this embroidery hoop with the uh, screw, wooden ring with the screw. I'll show you how I'm going to do that also. So I'll just finish this and come back. So I have completed this, if you see. and. Now my miniature uh, embroidery here is complete. Now for the top of the ring, see I have I have taken this um, tissue roll and I cut it as much as I needed to cover this hoop. I had to cut it a little thick because the cello tape roll was thick. So I've cut it according to its size, and then. After keeping it here like this, I have just pressed these two ends. So now what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and put Febby Bond on the sides. I will stick this first and then I'm going to use a small head pin or uh, let me see. Then I have to use a wire or a head pin to put it across from this side and bring it out from this side which will then become the screw for my hoop. So this uh, will be my uh, miniature so once I stick that I'll, I'll come back and show you how it looks and uh, in case you're making brooches with the small rings or hoops that are available what you can do is I'm going to leave this open like this because I'm going to only show it as a miniature project but if you want uh, to make a brooch what you can do leave some and cut out the extra cloth then run a running stitch along the edge and pull the thread so that it all comes inside and then you can put it in and put the backing disc and close it so that you have a finished product but i'm going to leave it open because mine is only a uh, dollhouse embroidery project kit so i'm going to leave it open so let me stick the outer ring and i'll come back and show you how it looks so i've gone ahead and i have stuck uh, this ring around 
and here just to make sure that it is nicely stuck I have put this cloth clip which I will remove once it is stuck and uh, I am going to leave it like this only because I want it to look like a wooden uh, bit and there you go my mini embroidery kit is now all ready so I made these small small skeins by just wrapping a black paper around here on both ends just like the normal skein had so the two colors that I have used here I have made skeins out of the same and I stuck this as I have shown and I put this pin here through this and it becomes a screw of my embroidery hoop um, so my miniature dollhouse embroidery kit is now all ready and this has now inspired me to do more miniatures let us see what I can do more so keep watching and I hope you like this video do comment in the comment section as to how you like this uh, mini project thank you for watching